as I was putting my snow pusher on today to push this little bit of snow, I thought it might be a good time for another episode of Mythbusters on Tractor Time with Tim. We just had one recently where we talked about the loader capacity and we, we showed you various different loader capacities at different heights and, and tried to just get rid of some of the myths that surround the, the loader capabilities. Well, today I want to talk about the quick attach. Now, as many of you know, John Deere uses what is scornfully called the proprietary quick attach mechanism. It's usually referred to as JDQA. Now, most other manufacturers in the industry either don't use any quick attach and they have a pin on bucket, or they use what is called the skid steer quick attach. Now, the skid steer quick attach is by far the most compatible uh, quick attach mechanism for any sort of a front mounted loader type assembly. Every skid steer that I know of has a, this quick attach mechanism and you have all kinds of implements from stump grinders to trenchers, brooms, snow blowers, grapples. grapples. It's all kinds of, of hydraulic driven especially quick attach implements. I uh, In one of our recent videos we had a front mounted bush hog mower on a skid steer. So when people talk about the skid steer quick attach they often talk about the vast array of attachments available and how many more there are than for the John Deere quick attach. And that's usually why you will see this condescending or scornful uh, attitude shown toward this proprietary quick attach system. But I think when we dig in a little bit deeper it might not be quite as bad as what those competitors make it out to be. Let's dig in. First, on a subcompact tractor, you can get a snow pusher like this one in, I don't know, there's probably three or four different manufacturers. You can get pallet forks made by at least a half a dozen, maybe a dozen different manufacturers, grapples by at least five manufacturers, loader mounted blades, uh, four in one buckets. I only know of one four in one bucket right now, and that's the one made by Deere themselves, sold under the Frontier brand. But I can't think of any attachment that is useful on a subcompact tractor that is not made with the JDQA brackets so that it can be attached to one of these proprietary quick attach systems. If you can think of one, let me know in the comments section. So why would John Deere make a, a quick attach system that's not compatible with everybody else's? I, I suppose some would just say, oh, it's because they're an ogre of a company and, and they don't want any compatibility. I, I don't know. But I think there is a real reason, and I think it's actually pretty obvious. The skid steer quick attach system on the Kubota BX weighs 86 pounds more than the pin-on connection. Now, I say 86 pounds more, it may actually weigh more than that, but the loader lift capacity is reduced by 86 pounds if you get the skid steer quick attach uh, connector on it. Contrast that with the John Deere, there is no pin on attachment available anymore. As of 2018, John Deere stopped selling the pin on buckets. And the main reason is there's no disadvantage to the quick attach system on the John Deere. You don't pay that weight disadvantage, nor do you pay the cost disadvantage. On the Kubota BX, it's a $500 upcharge to get the skid steer quick attach. I'm sure other brands are similar. I'm not trying to pick on Kubota here. Kubota's a great tractor. This is not about Kubota. It's, it's every other manufacturer versus John Deere on this topic. Another disadvantage of the skid steer quick attach, at least on the BX, is that it stretches the loader. It moves the loader bucket forward away from the pin. So it will reduce your lift capacity even further because of that. It will also reduce your breakout force because it goes forward. With the John Deere quick attach system, it stays compact. Your loader bucket or your attachment here can stay right next to the hinge. See, we're looking at maybe two inches here between the hinge and the back edge of the attachment. On larger tractors, an 86 pound weight difference is not important, right? I mean, if you're talking about a tractor that can lift three to 4,000 pounds, or a skid steer that can lift three to 4,000 pounds, 86 pounds worth of difference is, is not important. But when you're talking about a subcompact tractor, you take a, on the BX, you take a 509 
pound lift capacity and you reduce it to 423 pounds, depending on how you calculate, it's 15 to 20 percent reduction in lift capacity. When we talk about the 423 pounds of lift capacity in the BX or the 520 pounds of the deer as far as that goes, we're talking about the regular standard attached bucket. If you use pallet forks that are heavy, some inexpensive pallet forks are pretty heavy. If you use a grapple, it's definitely heavier than the bucket. That lift capacity is reduced dramatically. It wouldn't surprise me to see a lift capacity down into the 200 to 300 pound range if you use the worst case of all those attachments. Well, that's not a lot. To me, if I'm going to spend this kind of money on a tractor, I want all the lift capacity it can give me. So it's very important on these subcompact tractors that you trim every pound you can, yet maintain the attachability that you bought your tractor for. So rather than considering this JDQA, John Deere Quick Attach, as a proprietary, um, the manufacturer is out to get me solution, I think you should consider this a specially designed Quick Attach system meant to maximize the potential of your little tractor. And it does so. You can see it in the numbers. It's just as easy to hook up as the SSQA. And overall, you get more functionality. I hope this has been helpful. And I think we might have some more of these Mythbuster type episodes in the future. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out our website. I have a corresponding post there. That post examines a video on this topic from a competitive dealer. It's fascinating because I agree with all the facts in that video. I just come to a radically different conclusion. So check out that post. Press the like button if you like our content. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Now, the squid, the squid steer.